Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen and this is Pretty Pipes, a mod that adds in a rather simple, but has complex options, mod to, well, transport your items to and from automatically, as well as kind of create your own little bit of an inventory system. And yes, in case you hadn't noticed, I currently have this in Minecraft 115.2. <laughs> <laughs> With all the buzzy bees flying around, they're just so adorable. I couldn't help but spawn a few in. Uh, yes, this is currently a crazy world setup. But anyway, let's get into how to create and start off with this because it's a little bit more complex. But once you grasp the, the uh, basics of it, it's not that bad at all. Uh, so let's start off with the simple stuff. Pipes. It's a basic recipe. You get four of them at a time. And it actually, in my mind, gives a really good reason for iron bars. Plus, well, pipes. So, how do you do it? You just click one on the ground, you put it down, and there you go. Any inventories nearby, whether it be a chest or something like a furnace or whatnot, should automatically connect. That's pretty much it. The next item, pipe wrench. It's made as such, relatively basic as well. And it is used to manipulate the pipes and other things. So if I wanted to disconnect these two pipes, I just right click. That simple. If I want to reconnect, I just cl right click on the side that I want to reconnect it. There we go. It's that simple. I don't want it to connect to this inventory. There we go. I do want it to connect. Oh, well, looks like I'm going to have to go around the other side of this pipe. So there is some, some, you know, restrictions on there. But anyway, if I sneak right click, I will pick up the pipe and any upgrades it may have in it. At the same time, it will automatically pick those up. Upgrades, you say? Yes. That's the next part. This is how you actually make your system do stuff. Like you're seeing here, I currently have uh, wood being fed into, excuse me, being fed into here, and it is making charcoal, which I have going into here, which is where I have a whole bunch of iron ore. And then the charcoal is also being fed in here, as well as iron, and it's, it's auto smelting over here, and then recycling back on itself. It, it's a crazy setup, but I'm, I'm doing this to prove and show you guys what there is to go on. So, Upgrades. You'll need blank modules to start. Recipe is basic, and then you'll need to upgrade it from there, which can get quite expensive, especially if this is like kind of a vanilla plus type atmosphere and you just wanted to have these pipes so that you can automate some stuff without creating uh, giant vanilla Minecraft lag machines. Um, so, yes, you can see the, the blocks in there. That's the whole point of the pretty pipes. But let, let's start off with this. There are three levels of most upgrades. Not all. Some upgrades don't even have those. That is one, two, and three, right? And if they are actually moving any items, they're likely only going to move one at a time for the lowest setting, eight at a time for the second setting or medium, and 16 at a time for the high extraction mode, or high retrieval mode, or high filter mode, or priorities. We've got all sorts of crazy stuff over here. These ones here are going to kind of be separate from these ones here. And I will show you why in a moment. Let's start off with more basic stuff. Extraction modules. These are really, really nice to use. Uh, in fact, I've got some pipes now. Let's put some here, and then I'll put a chest down there. So we've got pipe, pipe, pipe. Now, if I right-click on this pipe, nothing happens. I'm right-clicking right now, nothing. But if I right-click on this one, I get some kind of little UI or user interface that shows up. Same thing with this one. Reason being is because these are actually right next to an inventory. You can see tell that because it actually has this little connection uh, you know, to it. If you don't want it to connect, you can disconnect it. And then right-clicking doesn't do anything anymore because there is no inventory for it to actually influence or be influenced by. This is where you put said upgrades to change the behavior of the pipes. So if I take a low extraction module and I put it here, it will extract, if I if you look here, the tooltip says hold shift for info. This is the same for most of the items in this mod. Pulls items from adjacent inventories. Filters and pull rates vary by tier. High tier high tiers prevent oversending. So if I put this in here, then things in here will be sent over there automatically, right? Maybe. You gotta see what this thing is set for. Right now, nothing is disallowed. Nothing is allowed. There's the difference. So basically everything will go or nothing will go. You can also filter those. For instance, if I take some, actually let's take granite in this case. We're going to have granite is going to be allowed, but I'm also going to grab regular stone. So I put stone in here, nothing happens. If I put granite in here, it should go. There it goes. 
down and away one at a time and it'll fill in here in the first available slot just like that so you can filter things like said like this or you can just take it off and have all or nothing it's that simple at least for the low extraction module but the problem is it's not necessarily going to go in the direction you want you might have multiple chests or connections or all sorts of things going on and then everything out of here these granite blocks are going to go into uh, who knows how many number of different inventories you have set up so you're going to need to do a little bit more specialization now in this case uh, let's actually take this back out and it will save its data so if I put this over in this one and insert it here it will actually uh, keep the same information I had cleared it just by right clicking on that because it just stores a ghost of the item it doesn't actually use the item in this case um, but the recipe for these ones is pretty basic you know you've got these you know plus a blank module then your level up and your level up again which gets a little bit expensive but I mean hey whatever uh, floats your boat there I recommend at least the mediums just because as it says here uh, high tiers prevent oversending. So if I have this going into here and I only want to send like it only has one inventory slot and that slot is almost full. Everything will keep on sending over here one at a time. You'll have like four or five of them in this pipe. Then it'll bounce out of here once it's full and bounce back into this inventory. So it will prevent that from happening. It will say, okay, there's enough space for X amount to go in there. And then it will send the uh, required amount, whether it be 8 or 16. Therefore, I, pr I recommend you at least upgrade it to the level 2s, just so you can avoid that oversending thing. Now, there are other ways of getting around that, but that's just a beginning recommendation. So let's go with retrieval modes. These here are very expensive uh, and then you go into level two and level three and this is just for one of them and these are often used on a lot of inventories so if i put this here at this end it's going to act similarly where low retrieval module it is going to retrieve items from nearby inventories if I put these in here nothing's going to happen because i actually need to tell it what to retrieve in this case i want only granite so let's do this and this and then you just wait a moment and there it goes the granite is going to go over into the chest and this will allow you a certain level of specialization so if you have a lot of inventories or a lot of things going on where you need granite in one stone in another diorite in a third whatever you can actually separate them out like that if you so desire now that's in its most basic manner i'm going to right click that or left click that so that i can clear it and then i can go back over here and remove the retrieval module there we go and again you can also upgrade these to different levels I showed you those and it's just really really cool how this you know so far can work it's similar to the old logistics pipes mod and I think that was the inspiration for it so filter modules these are a little a little bit more a little bit more uh, challenging to use restricts flow from pipes into adjacent inventories filter amount varies by tier so you can actually add filters as to what goes into an inventory so if I have in this case an extraction module and a low filter module let's put an extraction module over here and it's going to allow uh, everything right or disallowed nothing well I'll allow nothing disallow nothing well wh whatever disallow nothing okay so therefore everything that goes in here should go into the other one yep there it goes already the granite is going over I'm going to grab that but let's make it so that there's a filter we're going to put this in here and we're going to say that stone is disallowed all right fine well actually let's make it so that instead of stone we'll because we've already seen granite go over there we'll have granite be disallowed and we'll toss granite in and it stays stone and it goes ah see so this is another way that you can uh, kind of customize these as you want instead of having this end pull you can have this end push and this end filter or however many ends that you want to filter and that's how the filter modules more or less work and yes you can change these to be such uh, I, if you change it you know mid midterm it, it might be a little bit weird but for now there we go turning that off the granite goes through and it automatically updates nice Let's take these back out so that they don't mess up the values that I currently have We can take this out and this out and we can continue on with what we've got so 
The filter modules have extra options that you can add in. So for example, if I take one of these filter modules, put it in here, I have a couple other spots that I can actually do, uh, do more with this filter module. And that is adding in a damage filter modifier, a data filter modifier, or a tag filter modifier. Now, damage filter modifier, any filter slots to filter by item damage. So if I have a bow that's been shot a few times, it could say, I don't want that. I only want perfect bows. So therefore, you can have your damaged bows that are coming from a mob farm go into a trash bin or a lava pit. And you can have the other stuff going into uh, a, a crate where you keep the stuff. Uh, or you just have all things that have a damage on them get trashed and you only want magic books something along those lines just to give an example now uh, what else we have data filter module causes any filter slots to filter by item data so this is like if i have uh, three bows that are perfectly set they don't have any damage to them to give an example uh, and each one of them has a different enchantment on it you could filter this by specific types so so that's just to give kind of a, a highly specialized example of what this can sort by. Therefore, you can have the same item, but with different effects affecting it. <laughs> and going with the tag filter modifier, this is new uh, or newer because of the newer version of Minecraft. A lot of items have been given tags so that you can actually uh, call them easier. It makes modding easier. It makes uh, just any kind of creative items that you need to do or work with on a server a lot easier. This allows you to call those specifically. Uh, so like a Minecraft pig, for instance, you know, it, it might also be something else that you would want to affect instead. But this basically allows you to use tags in this in this uh, type. Now, we've also got low and high, low, medium and high priority or another high, medium and low priority or low, lower and lowest in this case. <laughs> so if I have two inventories connected, let's have one here. And the closer one from, let's actually say from he, this chest here, this is, whoops, this chest here is closer to this chest than it is to the double chest, right? So therefore items should automatically go into the, whoops, go into the nearby chest because of that. Now if I take one of these low extraction modules and we put this in here and it uh, disallows nothing. Items are just going to go to the nearest inventory, and that's it, right? So let me actually take this filter out as well. We don't want anything to uh, kind of muck that up. Please forgive. It would still work the same way. Hello, hello, B. Hello. As you can see, this stuff comes in, and it goes into the nearest inventory. So if I wanted to have this be a lower priority than this inventory, like I don't care about the filtering on it. I just don't want it to go to this chest first. I want it to go to that chest first. Once that one's full, then it can go to this one. In that case, that's where you can take these, the low priority, put it on here on the back of this one. And then when I take these out, put it in here, it should go to the next highest priority chest. Da -da -da -da. Just like that. It's pretty darn cool. I, I like that. It's very simple options and functionality. I'm gonna, just going to clear this out. I've got a little bit of some of these items left here. By breaking that inventory, it no longer had a spot for the, uh, the module to be stored. So that's why it popped off just there. Now you saw how slow things were going before, right? Let's speed that up. I'm going to come to these ones in a moment. Low speed increase module to high speed increase module. I'm just going to grab the high one so you can see automatically what this looks like. Now if you look at the tooltip on here, it says it increases speed of items exiting adjacent inventories. Speed varies by tier. So it's items exiting adjacent inventories. So if I have stuff leaving here, then that's where I need to connect it to in order for it to speed up everything that comes out of this chest. So if I put this in here, I now have an extra you know, fast item here, put this here. You can see that those go very fast now along the pipes. That's pretty much it. It just adds a speed buff to your pipes. I'm gonna take these back out and put them back in place where I had them before. Now we've got here stack limiter module, limits the amount of items that can enter adjacent inventories automatically prevents oversending. So this is a way that you can actually use your uh, lower tier uh, extraction and retrievals without having to worry about oversending as much. But it also allows you a limited number of, of uh, options to go. So let's actually, I think stack limiter module, I think I've got one in here, right? Yes, I do. This one has 10. You can see we've got 10 of each. So if I take half these out, 
a bunch come from another inventory to fill it until it gets to 10. And I just have regular modules. I've got speed upgrades going on on one of them right now. I don't have it on the other. So let's take it out of the wood. And you can see that the speed does not affect that one because the speed is connected to this one up here. Now I have other inventories as well, but these ones have the filters on them. They've got a low retrieval module and so on. It's, it's a, 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 just a way of keeping a certain amount in an inventory that you so desire. Now I can also put these in here. They're not going to spit them back out or anything, but it will at least keep a minimum of that quantity in, in that spot. And you can change it, of course, just by typing it in here. You can uh, limit it to one stack or not if you so desire. So what else do we have? We've got the redstone module. So if I turn this on and I take out all the stone, where's my stone? There's no stone because I have turned this off with the redstone module. And if you look here, it allows disabling the pipe with a redstone signal. Works for both extraction and retrieval. I enable it. Everything keeps going again. Pretty darn cool. And it will continue, uh, you know, refilling that until it's done. You'll also notice that there are some numbers going on here. What the heck is that about? That's the next part, the pipe frame. Attached to a pipe or pipe adjacent block shows the amount of an item in the pipe's network. There are restrictions on this, but it can be very helpful. You just plonk it on a pipe and it'll work. Does the pipe need to be connected to a chest? or an inventory? Not necessarily. It can be in between them as well, like this one here isn't connected to anything. But let's see, I can click here. There are no chests in the system. If I put this here, there's one chest in the system. There's no filters or anything. It's still here. It's there. Now, here's the problem that you might run into and be confused by. And it's not really a problem. It's just how things work. I put this on here. No chests in the system. What? What the heck was that about? And now there's a chest in the system. Why not? Because it will look for any kind of connections without any kind of modules in it. So if I, let's turn this so that it's allowed. Take this chest back. I put the chest over here and it will say there's nothing in the system. Nothing in our network. Why not? Because there's modules here and modules here. Now, depending upon the modules that you have, actually there isn't any modules here. Okay, so depending on the modules you have installed, it might need to have a regular connection without modules because that can modify the items as they're moving. So you want a real time. There we go. It now can tell you updated how many you have. Same thing with this furnace. It's not counting any of the iron ore or the charcoal in here because there are modules in each of these connections. Same thing here as well. None of those are actually counted, any of these three slots. But if I were to connect on the front with the rest of the system, there we go. The coal increased. If I break that connection, 169. So you can see it just needs a connection without any kind of modules in there if you want it to be an accurate count in the system. But in general, you can use it to try and figure out how much you have in there. Like I've got a whole bunch of iron ore. Well, here, let me explain what I've got set up here, and then we'll get into the, the, the best part of this entire thing, and that's the terminals. Uh, so if I have just a regular old pipe, see there's no inputs in here, and I put this on here, it will tell you how much wood is in the chest. That's pretty cool. That's nice. I like this. It's simple yet very effective. You could even just put the, the pipe on the front of the chest if you want. You know, put it like this and then grab a piece of wood. And then you don't even have to lose the wood. It's just a ghost of the item. Again, there you go. 461. Why? Because the other one just hadn't updated that fast. That's all. You can see the other wood kind of bouncing back and forth. It's a little bit weird. But anyway, uh, this is currently using a low extraction module to allow anything that's in there. So currently I'm only going to put wood in here because I put the sign there to remind myself. It then goes into this furnace, uses the wood to make charcoal. And that's pretty much it. Then it has an automatic extraction. See, I don't have any filters going on because it doesn't matter. As soon as one of these inventories is full, top or bottom, it will continue sending to the other. But you can also see the problem here that a lot of things are bouncing back and forth because these are one at a time emptying out, and then it will send up to three of them. This is why you probably want to upgrade. Moving on, this is currently 
extracting into a single inventory so there's no confusion like there was with this one where it's going to be waiting for empty space to be in one of these two spots whether it be top or bottom or both in this case there's only one so it's just going to constantly take the charcoal out of here and feed it into this chest now there are extraction modules on some of these there we go this one here has nothing being disallowed everything is coming out <laughs> it could be a very scary thing but I've got certain things limiting this. I have retrieval modules that are calling for this. I have a retrieval module that's calling for that. And I have an extraction module that's taking those out. Then I have them going back and then they feed back in. It's really confusing how you could set this up, but actually it's probably going to be a lot simpler in actual practice. I mean, I was just messing around with this and made a really big tangle of pipes. Don't forget, you can always disconnect things if it's not working out for you, you know. But when you do so, you're obviously going to lose your upgrade if there is any in there. Now here, item terminals and crafting terminals. What is an item terminal? It is a terminal that allows you to request and put back items in your system. Remember, any time that there is uh, uh, one of these modules in place connected to an inventory, it's not going to read things properly. That's how these work is similar to these signs. So therefore, it's going to tell you how much is in a system that has a plain connection to it that it is connected to. So this is not going to read anything in here or over here because there's no actual connection between them. It doesn't actually connect through inventory, so it will connect up to and including inventories that have uh, no modules on some of them. So in this case, there's a way that it can actually see that. Now if I wanted to, like I said before, uh, let's actually look here, 205 charcoal. Let's do this. 269 charcoal. It's just that simple. It just needs a, a clean connection to another inventory. And then it can include that in its uh, information. But this way you can see all at once instead of having to use these little signs. And you can request things. I want a bunch of iron. Let's give me 10 of them. Now it will take a moment. As you can see here, the iron is coming through the system. Yeah, the bee is fascinated too. And it's going up to the terminal. There we go. Now I have 10. And now I put it back. And it automatically will go back to the system where it is set up to be distributed at. In this case, back into this chest. There we go. So. That's what an item uh, terminal is. You can order it by the amount, by the name, by the mod. Uh, you can also descending or ascending. You can sync it with JEI if you have JEI installed, which that's what this mod is on the side here. If you do sync it, uh, when you have stuff in here, it will type it up here as well and therefore sort by that. So if I do iron, you'll only see two of the three instead of the charcoal. If I don't sync it, then, and I had it synced before, I will need to remove the information at the top there. And of course you have a scroll bar on the side should you have a lot of stuff in your inventories. Now inventories aside, you can also craft from it. This is the same exact thing. Uh, item terminals and crafting terminals by the way, the uh, recipe for those is expensive because if you remember the uh, retrieval modules and stuff were also rather expensive. The crafting terminal itself is a very simple upgrade, thankfully, from that. But the crafting terminal allows you to craft up here. So if I wanted to, I could make, let's take some iron ingots. Uh, I will request, uh, let's, let's give me eight of them. I'm not going to need eight, but I would just like to take some of those. It will take a second for these to actually get there, of course. There we go. Once I have them, I should be able to do this. Then I can put that back and I can request this sending one sets of ingredients. So therefore it could feasibly do this and then I can grab the bars and so on. And it's going to give me another set because I clicked request. It is requesting enough to make a whole nother set. So I could request, 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 and it's going to get me three sets of the iron coming my way so that I can actually craft this. And it will automatically fill the crafting grid if I wait for it. If I uh, pull these out before then, as you saw before, the, the uh, crafting recipe will clear. And this is very reminiscent of the old Logistics Pipes mod, which I actually kind of liked. It, it's rather low-tech uh, inventory sorting system. But like I said before, if you have automation going on, you probably only want to connect your crafting terminal and or item terminals 
to your end inventories and not the stuff that's being processed because otherwise, like I said before, it might give you some really weird uh, fluctuating numbers or not be inclusive of what you have in machines. You might as well just go with the things that you know that you can use. Anyway, that more or less sums up Pretty Pipes, the mod by Elpic. If you all enjoyed this bit by bit on this really cool and fun and interesting mod, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, come visit us on Twitch, and be sure to help spread the mischief to others. Till next time, bye!